Hey guys, so today I decided to quickly do a video because I haven't been really keeping up with my videos too much. Some things have been going on and that's totally fine too, but apart from that, I've just been kind of busy in my head a lot, the most of it really. I just have not been having the focus to do videos and even if I sit down and try and record, it still usually has not been working out for me fully because I just cannot focus enough, especially when it comes to teaching things on my main channel with motivation, and self-help, all of that stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to keep focused and so that's why sometimes, um, you know, like if a person recommends a video to me, I can't do it right away sometimes because, and I don't think, it, no, no, there has been one time that I actually have done it instantly, but there are some times that I just can't do it instantly because I need to go with what's being clearer in my head and you know, I almost get told of what videos to do, however, I have like a list of video ideas in many different journals and also uh, binders, folders, all of that. On my phone even, like sometimes I'll text them to myself, like it's just, it's, it's all over the place and they choose me, I do not choose the video idea. So like it, it has to be, like it's an energetic connection, it's even hard to explain even through video, it's really just hard to explain. Um, but if you're quite empathic, you may know what I'm talking about, that some things just choose you and if you drastically follow your heart then you know that things just choose you because you just feel so drawn and connected to it and since you're automatically like really sensitive to that stuff you're going to be drawn to it even more right and it's just going to be easier for you to sense those things but if you're more interested in learning about how you can do that guarantee you I've done a video about that on my main channel no I've made quite a few videos about that to be honest so that interests you, always, I always link my main channel in the description below all of my videos, so if you want to check that out, feel free to do so, but recently, um, just my recent video today that I recorded, I did my main channel first, which is quite unusual for me because I don't usually feel like doing it first, I usually like to do my vlog channel first because I love talking and I talk so much and that's one of the things, and I am so random too, like you might notice in some of my videos that I get way off track sometimes and I can't help it and I know someone commented about that a while ago, um, quite a while ago, but you know, it's, it's, I have a scatterbrain, so even trying to teach people can be a challenge, which is one of the reasons why I have to energetically feel connected to the video because then it is automatically clear in my head sometimes I actually get inspired by my vlog channel to do a main channel video of whatever I talked about in my vlog channel, which did happen yesterday, but my attempts at recording yesterday kind of failed, so that didn't really overly work out or happen properly, but now I have um, another chance to record my videos and make things right on my channels because I have been really behind all my videos not even gonna lie, I really have been missing making videos too and it really sucks when I can't make them and like YouTube is literally my reason to breathe. YouTube is my fucking oxygen so when I'm not making videos I'm kind of fucking miserable and I don't feel a sense of purpose whatsoever. So that's a fun feeling and then I'm just kind of stuck in bed all day doing nothing and everyone just thinks I'm being lazy but really I'm just an emotional person who doesn't feel a sense of purpose unless I can do videos and make videos so and you know a lot too a lot of my stuff no all of my stuff is creative work and it all involves technology so when people see me just laying in bed on my phone, they think I'm doing nothing, but truth be told, I am doing so much. 24 hours of work towards the things that I want to do with my life. Doesn't matter if everyone believes it. I have journals, binders, blogs on my phone, you know, obviously, where else would you put blogs? I have things everywhere about my future. I have fucking oracle cards, come on. I've always been obsessed with the future. Like, I've always been obsessed with success as well. So, you know, it's, it's a little illogical to say that I don't care about my future, which some people have done in the past and still sometimes do. And it's like, I, just, I, I, I don't get it. I really, I don't. Um, because 
even my life coach, you know, she said, you have so much drive for the future, you know, not her exact words, I can't remember her exact words, but that was one of the things that she really admired about me, was my drive to get shit done, she knows, she knew that I was a hard worker, and that just started making me think that maybe I'm actually a Hufflepuff, if you're into Harry Potter, I don't know, most of the world is, I feel like, it's fair to say that, but I really am not, I don't know, I don't want to be a Hufflepuff, no offense, it's just not my thing anymore, you know, I'm, uh, one of the things aren't they known for is their kindness, I don't got a lot of that anymore, you know, I, I do, but not enough to be a Hufflepuff, that kind of rhymes, but you know, it's, it's bravery, rebelliousness, definitely more of who I am now, it's, Kindness is given if you give it to me, and I'm pretty sure that's not how Hufflepuffs work, so they give it no matter what. And I used to be like that too, but I'm not like that anymore. Now it's like I had to make those healthy boundaries for myself and just cut a line in between negative people and positive people, people who are nice to me and respect me and those who don't. I've had to really make that line straighter than hell to clearly make my healthy boundaries from, you know, the toxic people and the non-toxic people. Let's put it like that. That's probably the simplest way, maybe, of putting that. I don't know. But anyways, I've just been rambling off and I was going to say what my main channel video was. And so I'm going to do that real quick because I didn't do that and because I just randomly started talking about other things. Like I said, that can happen and it does happen. It's part of who I am. But what I made a video about on my main channel was basically, like I said, it's all motivational kind of stuff or self-help. Some people have considered it. But what I just made a video about on that channel was about accepting change and noticing smaller changes. Now I feel like I've already said this, but that could just be because I did one video about it before this video. But it is helpful because I've been experiencing a lot of change and I used to be really, really stubborn with, you know, synchronicities and signs and even if you don't believe in that stuff, that's totally fine too. But even just noticing the small progressions over the bigger picture because we tend to just look at the bigger picture and think that everything isn't working out because now we're not noticing the smaller changes. So I get more into that on my main channel. If you guys want to check that out, you can feel free to do so. And other than that, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And as I said before, I always link my main channel in the description below my video.